Hey, what's up, everyone? So, today, yeah, we've got something really exciting to talk about, and I'm sure a lot of you have been, like, waiting for this. So, here it is. Meta just dropped Llama 3.2, and wow, there's a lot going on with this release. I mean, from, like, these super efficient models that can run on your phone to some really powerful vision-based models. This is a huge step forward in AI. Let's break it all down and see what's inside. Okay, so first things first, right? Llama 3.2 brings small and medium-sized models. We're talking 11 billion and 90 billion parameters. And then there are these lightweight, text-only models, 1 billion and 3 billion parameters. And here's the kicker. These can run locally on your phone or, like, any edge device. So if you want to summarize stuff, follow instructions, or rewrite tasks on the go, boom, it happens right on your device, without needing the cloud. And oh yeah, they're optimized for Qualcomm and MediaTek hardware, right out of the box. So, basically, your Android phone, it's ready for this. Now, here's something super cool. The 11B and 90B models are vision-based, so they don't just handle text. They can process images, like let's say you've got a chart or a graph, and you want the AI to figure out what's going on, it can do that. These models are drop-in replacements for the text models from Llama 3.1, but they also bring this whole new level of image reasoning. And guess what? They actually outperform some of the big name models out there, like Claude 3 Haiku, when it comes to image tasks. So yeah, that's pretty wild. All right, so let's dive into some benchmarks, because numbers don't lie, right? Meta has really pushed the envelope here. Llama 3.2 has gone head-to-head -head with models like Claude 3 Haiku and GPT-40 Mini. And the results? Honestly, they're pretty impressive. Take image reasoning tasks like MathVista Llama 3. 2's 11B model scored 51.5, and the 90B model bumped that up to 57.3. This is higher than Claude 3 Haiku, and right on the heels of GPT 40.mini. But where Llama really shines is in charts and diagram understanding. On the Chartka benchmark, the 90B model nailed an 85.5 score, which is ahead of Claude 3 Haiku's 81.7. And for AI2 diagram, it knocked it out of the park with a 92.3. That's just crazy good performance. Then, if we look at text-based reasoning, like the MMLU benchmark, Llama's 90B model hit 86.0, which is neck and neck with the best out there. And for tasks like general visual question answering, Llama's VQAV2 score came in at 78.1, showing it can really handle a wide range of visual and text-based queries with ease. Llama 3. Two's lightweight models, 1B and 3B, are crushing it in the benchmarks. For general knowledge on the 3B model scores 63.4, beating Gemma but slightly behind Phi. In text rewriting, Llama's ahead of both Gemma and Phi, with the 1B model scoring 41.6. Oh, and another thing, Meta is also launching the Llama stack, which is, like, this whole distribution system that makes it super easy for developers to deploy Llama models on, well, pretty much anything. Whether it's on-prem, in the cloud, or, like, on your device, you can just hit the ground running. And they've partnered with, like, some serious players, Oz, Dell, Infosys, you name it. So you've got turnkey deployment right out of the box. Pretty awesome. So here's the big deal with running these models locally. First of all, everything is instant. No delays, no lag, nothing like that. You ask a question, and boom, you get an answer. And secondly, privacy, because it's all happening on your device. None of your data, like your messages or calendar info, ever leaves your phone. That means you stay in control of your data. Now, for all of you working on vision tasks, these models are next level. You can feed them both text and images, and they'll work with both. Need to extract details from a picture? They got it. Want a caption for an image? Done. It's super useful if you're into apps that need visual grounding, or even if you just want, like a smarter assistant that can do it all text, images, whatever. Okay, and for those of you who need smaller models, the 1B and 3B models are perfect. They've got strong multilingual capabilities. They can call tools. And they run on device, so no cloud processing needed. Meta used some fancy techniques like pruning and knowledge distillation to make sure these models stay super efficient while keeping up their performance. It's like squeezing all that AI power into a smaller, more compact form, but without losing any juice. Finally, Meta's really doubling down on the whole openness thing. They're making these models available on link to llama.com, Hugging Face, and all the major platforms like Google Cloud, Oz, Microsoft Azure, you name it. They believe that when more people can access these tools, the entire industry moves forward faster. And honestly, that makes a lot of sense. Llama's already leading in terms of openness and modifiability, and this is only going to push it further.
So yeah, to wrap this all up Llama 3.2 is a total game changer. Whether you're into building on-device apps or you're excited about vision-based AI, there's something here for everyone. And with how open Meta's being with these tools, I'm honestly excited to see what all of you are going to create with them. If you want to get your hands on these models, they're available now on Llama.com and Hugging Face. Definitely let me know what you think once you try them out, and I'll catch you in the next video.